Someone has been crying to God in frustration. Someone has been crying to God in frustration, saying, God, how long? Enough. I've had enough. Shalom, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honoring. I have a word, a prophetic word for someone. As a matter of fact, this word came to me with such a burden. I could literally feel what someone somewhere is feeling right now. I don't know who this is for, but God sent me here just for you. He heard you when you said that. And this word is coming to us from Psalms 13. Psalms 13. Someone crying like David did and saying, long enough, long enough, God. You've ignored me long enough. You've looked at, I've looked at your back, at the back of your head long enough. Long enough. I don't know who has been praying to God and crying to God, believing God for one thing, just this one thing. And it seems like God has turned his back on you. It seems like God has ignored you or he keeps ignoring you. And you got to a point where you are frustrated. You are at the verge of giving up. That is the person that God sent me here for today. Someone saying, long enough, God. Long enough, you've ignored me long enough. I've looked at the back of your head, Lord, long enough. Long enough. And it continues. He says, I've carried this ton of trouble. I've lived with a stomach full of pain long enough. Long enough. My arrogant enemies have looked down their noses at me long enough. Long enough. Someone you feel like your Christianity is becoming a mockery. Your enemies are jubilating. They are mocking at you and asking where is your God now. And you are saying long enough God. You've ignored me long enough. Says, take a good look at me, God. My God, I want you to look. I want to look life in the eye. So no enemy can get the best of me or laugh when I fall on my face. Father, long enough. I've thrown myself headlong into your arms. I'm celebrating res your rescue. There is an assurance God is coming to rescue you. And I'm singing at the top of my lungs. I'm so full of answered prayers. God says I should tell you the answers to your prayers have, are coming. God has heard your cry. I came here for someone who has tarried in that situation for so long. You've believed God for that situation to change for so long. You've believed God to change, to rescue your marriage for so long. You've believed God for a child for so long. You've believed God for a job for so long. You've believed God for that thing, for that miracle for so long, for that breakthrough for so long. I came here for someone today that when you enter into your place of prayer, you don't know what to tell God anymore. You just tell him, Father, long enough. I'm tired. How long, oh God, how long? Another Bible version. Let's see another Bible version says, how long? Father, how long, how long? Says, how long, Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you forget me, Lord? How long forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts? And day after day have sorrow in my heart. How long? I came here for someone who is at the verge of breaking. Someone who is at the verge of breaking saying, Father, long enough. How long? How long, how long? I can literally feel what you're going through. And I know what it means to believe God for something. And pray until you get to a point where you're broken. 
When you feel like God cannot hear you anymore or God has given up on you. I came here for someone who is feeling like God has turned their back and is saying, Father, long enough. I've looked at the back of your head long enough. Can you look at me? Turn around and look at me. I came here for someone who, who is saying, Father, I have prayed. I've served you diligently. And I've, I, I, I've soon seen. I've connected. I, I'm not, I might not have been perfect, but I try. And I strive towards perfection. I try my best. And you know, Lord, I genuinely love you. But I've cried for this long enough. I came for someone who has exhausted their words in their place of prayer. That when you step into that place right now, all you do is just cry out to God and say, God, I am tired. I am tired. I am tired. And I came here to tell you today, you might have given up. You might have felt like all hope is lost. You might have felt like God has ignored you long enough and you can't take it anymore. You might even be considering a plan B that you know is not pleasing to God. But God says don't. God says don't. God says the answers to your prayers are released in the mighty name of Jesus. God says the answers to your prayers are released in the mighty name of Jesus. The answers to your prayers are released in the mighty name of Jesus. God sent me here with a burden for you to join my faith with you and open the gates of God sent me here so that we can, ah, he might not have heard you, but you needed one African woman to join you grown in the spirit. And say, Father, Lord, I join my friend with my brother who is tired of praying. I join my friend with my sister who is tired of crying out to you. And I say, Father, And God says, I should give you this word. God says, I should give you this word. Oh, Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 61 and verse 3. Isaiah chapter 61 and verse 3. Isaiah chapter 61 and verse 3. And God says, says he will provide for those who grieve in Zion. Ah, he says, and provide for those who grieve in Zion. Whatever you've been believing God for is coming to you. God is providing it in the name of Jesus. He says, and Bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes. God is giving you ashes, a, cry, a beauty for ashes. Ah, God says, I should tell you, you've cried long enough. You put on sackcloth and, and applied wood ash on your body, crying out to him long enough. God says he is giving you beauty for ashes in the name of Jesus. He's giving you beauty for ashes in the name of Jesus. He's giving you beauty for ashes in the name of Jesus. He says the oil of joy instead of mourning. Your days of mourning are over. Your days of crying are over. Your days are, you are the days you have, you have been in tears are 
over in the mighty name of Jesus. God says beautiful ashes, oil of joy in place of mourning, oil of joy instead of mourning. You are about to experience what it means to be joyful again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel that burden lifted off me. God says you will know what it means to smile, a genuine smile again. You will know, ah, the Holy Spirit said not just smile. He says for once you will laugh out loud and people will laugh with you. Ha! Ah, God is filling your mouth with laughter. God is filling your heart with joy. God says your days of crying to him are over. Your days of crying are over. Over. Come on, who is connecting to this? Your days of crying are over. Your days of crying are over. Your days of crying are over. In the mighty name of Jesus. And it's not over. He says, and a garment of praise. A garment of praise. Instead of the spirit of despair. A garment of praise. Instead of the spirit of despair. Someone from today, you will have genuine reason to praise God. You will have genuine reason to praise God. From today, you will have genuine reason to praise God. You have been saying God is good because the word of God says so. You will say God is good because you have seen the goodness of the Lord. From today, you will say God is a good God because you have seen the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. From today, you will say God is faithful, not because he says he's faithful in his word, but because you've seen the faithfulness of God. Ah, God says this situation that you've been crying for, it is ending in praise. Ah, it is ending in praise. No more despair. No more disappointment. No more despair. God says you are putting on the garment of praise. And you know, he didn't say you praise God today. When you are putting, when God clothes you with the garment of praise, it means you are entering a season where all you have to do is praise God and appreciate him for the good things he's doing. It's not, it's not a one, it's not one miracle. No, 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 no. Praising God. Oh, praise talks about appreciating God for what he has done. God says he's putting a garment of praise. It means he's in a season when he's about to do things. Endless good things in your life. That you are. La zika barasia na balaru shaka. Li zika baraso branda na 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 barasia na. La ru shaka liya na baru shaka liya na rasia na. Before you finish praising God and thanking him for a, for a miracle. God say ah. La zika balaru shaka liya na rasia na baraso branda. La ria na ka baraso na baru shaka. Now this is what happens when you praise God. And this is exactly what's about to happen in your life. Every time you praise God, you're thanking him for a miracle. Thanking him for what he has done, for the good things he has done in your life. So the God says, as, as you praise him, you become pregnant. Because praise, the Bible says he inhabits the praises of his people. As you praise him, God, the, the, he, he comes down and, and, and he visits you. Oh, yesterday, we, 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 there was a video that was posted yesterday on God remembering you and visiting you. If I remember, I'll put the link in the in the description box so that you know where what happens to you when God remembers you and visits you. I'll put the link of that video. So when you praise God, He inhabits the praises of His people, meaning He visits you, He remembers you, and He visits you. And when He comes, when God comes down, when God comes upon you, when He comes down to visit you, you become pregnant with another miracle. So while you are praising God with this miracle, you are praying and with another miracle and by the time you are done pressing you give God you give birth to another miracle which fills your mouth with laughter and makes you press God more as you are pressing God he comes down again and you become pregnant with another miracle and while you are pre pregnant with another miracle still pressing God you give birth to the next and while you are still pressing and thanking God for the new God says it's about to be a chain of miracles a change someone this year has been decreed your year of praise because you will have countless miracles countless testimonies countless reasons to praise god oh countless testimonies that is the word god says i should tell someone he has heard your cry 
and now you are stepping into the season of countless testimonies countless testimonies oh i had countless testimonies when i just got to 15 to 15 to 15 someone you might want to connect you might feel led to connect to the world if you feel led in your spirit to connect to that world as i got to 15 minutes i had countless testimonies if you feel led to connect to the world as your spirit leads you check the description box for your cash up or paypal or you can just hit on that super thanks you are coming back with countless testimonies countless testimonies hallelujah i feel that burden lifted off i feel that burden lifted off me oh thank you jesus someone just begin to thank him just begin to thank him appreciate him appreciate him for the countless testimonies just appreciate him thank him thank you lord you're coming back with countless testimonies as you connect to this hallelujah now may the lord bless you and keep you may he cause his face to shine upon you and may he be gracious to you in the mighty name of jesus amen god bless you abundantly shalom